Hey folks, this is Kyle from Pure Storage, and in today's demo video, we're going to go over uh, how to use RBAC, role-based access control, with our new uh, vSphere Remote plugin. Um, in our previous video, we showed you how to install it. Now we're going to hop right back into our vSphere instance and show you how to use some of the new RBAC functionality we've introduced in this version of our plugin. So we've connected in. Uh, we can see we're under the administration roles area within vCenter, and we're going to create a new role. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, uh, this, this permission will be able to edit the size and name of a VMFS data store. So we're going to select host configuration and then storage partition configuration. And then under this new pure storage role, which is installed along with our plugin, we're going to select the edit data store function. We'll give this role a name, edit VMFS, and then click finish. We can see now our role has been created. It's not used anywhere yet, but here's our storage partition configuration and our pure storage edit data store permission. Um, next thing we're going to go ahead and do is because this role obviously does not only impact the flash array, we're going to add this as a global permission. Um, this vCenter instance is registered against Active Directory. So this user, PSTG, uh, we will assign that role of edit VMFS and propagate it to children. Um, so now if we go over to the pure storage plugin itself, we did just install it in the previous demo video. So we'll go ahead and add an array to it. Um, we'll give the, the array a name, the VIP, and then pure user, pure user to connect in and add the array. With the array now added, um, we'll now see that there's this new permissions tab and we'll add that same permission uh, to this array as well. We have the option of adding this to all arrays, but since we just have this one, we'll use just this one. Um, we'll find our PSTG user again, and then we'll give it that edit VMFS role that we created earlier in this demo video. Okay, now this array has this permission and role assigned to it, as we can see here. Um, we'll go ahead and log out of, as our administrator user. And then we're going to go ahead and log back in as our PSTG user that has the ability to edit a data store, but not create or destroy, which we will prove out here in just a minute. And again, you can combine multiple roles, multiple functions. Um, this is just a simple example to show how to do this. Um, so here we've got this RBAC2 uh, VMFS data store. It has seven terabytes assigned to it right now. We will go in, we will edit it. We will go from seven terabytes, let's go to nine. Uh, we'll click Submit. Um, we can see this has been resized, rescanned, and remounted to these ESXi hosts. And on the very right end edge there, you can see nine uh, terabytes has been added. Let's say we wanted to try to destroy it though. Um, so we'll try to destroy this. Remember, we do not have permission to do this. And as we can see here, the new RBAC functionality blocks that. So just a simple example, um, there's a lot more on our VMware user guide, including all of the necessary permissions to do all of the roles within the new plugin. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.